is getting a new look. Neighbors near the waterfront tell us they've spent years in the shadow of the Capitol. They've always felt overlooked. Fox 5's Beth Parker explains why. They're not just cleaning up, they're pushing forward to transform Southwest D.C. It's day and night. The mayor officially opened Waterfront Station. Right next to the Waterfront SEU Metro Station, a new Safeway, restaurants, and 535,000 square feet of office space. The facades of these buildings look fantastic, but inside these buildings uh, are the hardest working people in the entire world. Uh, the, the, you know them generally as the government of the District of Columbia. That D.C. government office space includes the Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs. Are all the permits for these buildings in order? <laughs> Mitchell Shear, president of Vornado Charles E. Smith, held up a photo of the old Waterside Mall. It's just been such an incredible journey to get to this day. Um, ten years in the making um, from when we first met with city officials and the community um, about what was then Waterside Mall. As ANC Commissioner Mary C. Williams attended more meetings than she cares to count. We were adamant, we were ferocious, we were sometimes downright rude. But you got what you wanted. We got what we wanted and we want more. I'm now standing on the roof of 1101 4th Street Southwest in the distance. You can see planes taking off at Reagan National. Over here is the Nationals ballpark. And then if you swing all the way around, the U.S. Capitol, but they don't want you to just check out the view, they also want you to look down. A green roof. These buildings are soon to be LEED certified. No the development includes the reopening of 4th Street. We have 4th Street reconnecting both sides of Southwest, the north side and the south side. And frankly, we have folks who we see at the new Safeway who we haven't seen for years. Residents say it's becoming the neighborhood they always hoped to have. In Washington, Beth Parker, Fox 5 News.